Nicadia Therapy Garden. Trees grow in a lush forest. Nicadia's design is based on a model of evidence-based health design in landscape architecture. One important part of the model focuses on the aimed health effects and how they will be achieved by the means of design, so-called design criteria. Three researchers present the design, treatment and research results. Ulrike K. Stig's daughter. We are at the entrance of Nicadia, and right here we can detect one of the design criteria called easy to interpret, meaning it must be easy for the patients to understand what the garden offers them and what they can and may do. The entrance is shaped like a welcoming embrace. A pergola with climbers guides the patients into the garden, and where the pergola ends, nature takes over. High tree canopies meet over the patients' heads, encouraging them to walk down the sloping terrain towards the light in the meadow head. Where the shelter from the tree canopy ends, the sound of a bubbling spring takes over and leads the patients to Nacadia's heart, the bonfire site, where the therapy starts. Susola Corazon. The Nacadia therapy is nature-based. It means that we take psychotherapy outside and into the garden, and that we use different activities and experiences in the environment as therapeutic tools. Hereby, the garden not only becomes a setting for the therapy, but an integrated part of the therapeutic process. Stig's daughter. The garden must also match the patient's treatment process by both supporting and challenging them, as well as providing meaningful activities all year around. Corazon. Here the different spaces in the garden play an important role. The more secluded spaces are used for individual privacy as well as therapeutic talks, whereas the more open spaces are used for nature-based activities, which can provide different levels of intensity depending on the individual patient's needs and resources. Ulrich Sardini. We have conducted several research projects in the therapy garden Acadia. The aim of one of them was to test the efficacy of the nature-based therapy we offer to people suffering from stress. The results show that Nacadia therapy had a medium to large effect on mental health, which was sustained over a year after the therapy ended. Also some other positive long-term effects were detected. For example, the number of times the patients contacted their general practitioner or took long-term sick leave both decreased significantly. And our patient interviews also suggested that our therapy had a positive effect. One patient said, I have learned so many tools from being in Nacadia. So even when the therapy stops here, I think I will never go back into the same high level of stress I was in before. I'm actually certain of it. The garden was funded by Rildania, the Obel Family Foundation, the Gottfried Bergdell Hartmann Family Foundation, and the University of Copenhagen. The research project mentioned in the film was funded by Trig Fonden. Film made by Cora.